Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Monday Motivation. That's right, you already know. So today, today's topic is actually going to be patience and judgment. Literally, we're going to be talking about, you know, you got to have patience, man. This is, this is a long game, all right? This ain't, this ain't a one-two thing, all right? You got to have patience, all right? Tons and tons of patience. And uh, judgment. You know, literally, everyone, everyone out there has an opinion. Everyone out there is going to give them, you know, give you their two cents, you see? Like right back there. And, um, and the thing is that, you know, when you brush, you know, when you brush that aside, when you brush away the judgment, when you brush away the patience, you know, um, all of us sudden that's when really the magic starts happening and uh, really I mean more than anything else you know the patience is the easy part I know I know for a lot of you guys this is impossible even for me patience is one of those things that it's not as easy as easier said than done right but the judgment you know that's the killer for a lot of people out there and look sometimes even myself but not so much you know I just I don't like to be um, so 100% on anything. That's the only reason I say that, and I'm only being honest as well. But the reality is, is that judgment is the killer. You know, what, the reason most of you guys out there don't do what you want to do is only because you're worried about what someone else is going to say about it. You know what I mean? What, what, the f what, what someone else is going to say about what you're doing. You know, whether it's a random stranger screaming at you just like right now, or whether it's your mom and your pop, or whether it's um, society, or whatever the f, f it is, you know, honestly. You know, um, that's like the major killer to most people these days, you know? Uh, and pretty much anything. It doesn't have to be just like following your dreams and following what you want to do and doing what you want to do. It literally has to do a lot. That's right. It literally has to do, look, it's so funny that, that I've, I've, I'm doing my video today on judgment and on what people think and yet, you know, literally in the first two minutes, I've already had three people confront me um, about what I'm doing out here. Which is, see, look. By the way, see, look, that, that, that guy does not give a fuck and he's just doing this thing. It's awesome. I love it. All right, time to cross the street. But literally, it's a judgment. By the way, this corner always smells like weed, man. I fucking love it. I wonder who smokes weed out here in this corner because every time I cr come across this corner, it always smells like weed. But, um... I digress. As I was saying, um, it's all, it really has a lot to do with judgment, you know, like really for real. Um, once you once you um, cross that barrier, once you get around the fact that nobody gives a fuck, once you realize that, once you really realize that, that's when like, the magic happens. Because you know, again, a lot of people, most of you guys out there, don't want to do anything don't want to follow your dream don't want to um talk about a certain subject don't want to do don't want to do a lot of things again basically just because you're worried about what the fuck they're going to be saying about you how they're looking at you how how they treat you how they all these things you know I, honestly the reason i'm making this episode more than anything else it's it's, it's for my girlfriend i don't know if she's going to be watching this or not and uh or whatever but like um you know i have these discussions with her and i have these discussions with a lot of people out there a lot of you guys but um this is a conversation of ha i'm having with her a lot recently because um you know i don't want to put her out there on the spot or anything but you know um we we talk all the time she's an artist you know she's out in the limelight she's doing all those things but for example she sees me doing what i do she wants to do what i do i kind of put her in that position to do these things and sometimes you know like she, it's hard for her to step up to the plate now it's not her because of uh it's not because of her lack of desire or want no 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 it has nothing to do with that at all it's the opposite her her, her desire her want her her you know everything about her is literally what helps her you know uh, not only confront these things but like um you know be able to take them on full 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 on in fact she tells me all the time thank you thank you know she thanks me for being in her life so that i mean not only do i say all these positive motivational things but at the same time i'm i i, I encourage her i push her i um i i literally show her by example um if she falls i pick her up and you know that's what i try to do with you guys as well but you know there's certain things out there that no matter how much I talk, no matter how much I, I bring up or whatever, it, it, it has no, it, I can't do anything about it. You know what I mean? Like, meaning I can't do anything about the fact 
about how you think, you know, the world perceives you. How, you know, you think, you know, um, the, you know, like, oh, you know, how you think, literally, how you think. But, you know, just back to like what we were saying before. You know, let's cover. Hold on, one of the. Yeah. And let's cover the, you know, the the whole um, the patience thing. So, you know, first of all, if you're doing what you love. If you're again, if you're if you're following the right, correct path, you know, doing everything you want to do, when you want to do it, you're living your best life. You're 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 just doing it. You're living it out there. You know, a lot of you guys just get frustrated because it's like you want it now. Look, I was watching Gary V actually earlier today. There was nothing on fucking YouTube, so I was like, you know what? Let me pop, you know, pop a little Gary V. You know, just a little motivation, you know, <laughs> whatever. Not motivation, but just like hearing, like, I love hearing his voice and who he is. He's fucking hilarious. Um, but, you know, he was literally just fucking, you know, it was funny because he, he, I, I watched a video and within like, a, I don't know, 15 seconds within, you know, he just said like a little quip. And I, I finished, I finished what he was going to say. Even though it was something he said that was, I'd never heard before. It's like I knew where he was going with that. And uh, again, this is why I watch it. You know what I mean? To, it's my, it's my, uh. My Taekwondo school, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm in member. I make these videos all the time. Whether I, Monday motivation is literally something that I've decided to do every Monday. But regardless, who I am and what I do, um, that's that's how I roll anyway. So, you know, when I watch him, you know, sure, I get a little motivation here and there. But the reality is, is that like I've said it before, I'm just practicing and honing my my knife, my skills. You know and getting better and better at, at what i do so that I, I i can be even better at what i do and and provide even more value to you guys and so on and so forth but anyways i what i was you know the the point that he was making which i just thought it was hilarious how it all how it all came about but remember he he is uh, an individual welcome he's dale welcome Hello. dale gracias gracias muy amable all right very friendly look out remember today's episode is about not caring about what people think and that's person number four already person number four that's not including all the all the eyes and everybody else you know that wants to check out what the fuck i'm doing you know there's a few more that just pass by right there so but those don't count i'm only in i'm only counting the people that actually say something to me today all right which usually is not many but anyways so as I was saying, um, but with the whole pay, okay, so patience, you know, Gary V understands the whole patience thing. In fact, remember, he plays the long game. I'm playing the long game. I know what I want out of my life. I know it's going to be a path. I know it's going to take a while. I, I, I get a lot of these fucking things, all right? I totally, totally get it, you know? But it took me a while. It literally took me a while to figure all this shit out. And, um... You know, as long as you know where you're going, does it really matter how fast you get there? You know what I mean? That's like a question that I want to ask you guys. You know what I mean? Really, if you already know where you're going and what you want to do, and you already know all this shit, like, you know, whatever. You don't need to hear a lot of these things. It's like, then, then what's the hurry? I mean, think about it. Once you get there, then what? You got to have something else ready, right? Exactly. That's the thing that most people don't realize. You know, for me, this is why I think my life is so cool because it's like I'm done with one, I got the next one. I, I achieve a goal, I'm, I'm working on the next goal. And it's like I'm always moving on to the next thing. I get bored very quickly. I don't know. I think a lot of us do. But it's those that really, you know, channel that correctly. You know, because I get bored very quickly, but I could be playing different video game every week. Or I could be, you know, watching sports. Or I could be doing a lot of things to um, be able to... Um, you know exercise that you know what i mean to like get that out of my system or what have you but i know i've, I've gone in circles you know and i have, still haven't even gone through the whole gary v thing but so you have 18 hours you have 18 goddamn hours i want to know what you're doing with your 18 hours you know just when it comes to gary v you know um he was just saying the fact that okay first of all everybody knows that he wants to buy the new york jets you know it's like a me saying i want to buy the, the miami dolphins now it, and even if uh I'm working as hard as I possibly can to try to achieve that goal. It's gonna be something that it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take take a long ass motherfucking time to not only accumulate those billions of dollars, but you know, um, 
know the right people that will, that will allow me to fucking purchase that the Miami Dolphins. So it's kind of like the same thing with the New York Jets. You know, that's something that to him, he's done and accomplished, you know, so many things already. So, and, and, and he's, he's, he's just, you know, he's, he's bigger than life. So to him, you know, being able to purchase the Jets, not only would it be a lifelong dream to him, but it would also be like a major achievement. And the thing is that he knows it's gonna take him like 20, 30, 40, who the fuck knows how many years to get there, okay? It's gonna take him a very long time. And then, you know, others, he like he understands patience. It's all, for him, it's all good. He don't care. Um, as long as, you know, eventually he'll get there. But, you know, as he was saying, is that like how other people that follow him, that listen to him, that are part of his uh, community, they, they get upset with him because he's not buying the Jets tomorrow or he's not buying the Jets next week. But in fact, it's gonna be 20, 30 years down the line. And they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't understand that. You know, in fact, sometimes I have conversations with some of you guys out there that are trying to do things, you know, help me, you know, help me um, to grow, help me to have my channel get bigger, help me do all these things. And to me, it's like, I know it's all well and um and you guys are really trying to help and you guys love me not you know not everybody it's not everybody you know everybody's a little different out there but but for the most part it's like i, I know you guys want me to grow and be famous and all this other shit. in my mind i know i'm gonna get there i'm not in a hurry i don't know when it's gonna happen it could be tomorrow it could be a years from now whatever when it happens it happens if, if it happens you know what i mean but you know when other people are trying to help me get there you know they they don't realize you know that maybe that's i'm going at the speed i want to go to i'm doing what i want to do there's a method to my madness you know all that shit. and so now that comes back full circle now now you know we're coming back coming back full circle to like the whole judgment thing and not giving a fuck what people think you know at the end of the day i know like you know a fan out there might love me to death and do everything humanly possible you know to try and make me better make my channel better make my content better but you know if all of a sudden he says he or she or whoever says hey do this and i say no you know what i mean like i, I don't know like I, there's a lot of people that can't say that no i do you know what i mean i love all you guys to death but you know don't be telling me what to do i don't fucking tell you guys what to do per se you know what i mean it's a little different remember you guys are tuning into me i'm not tuning into you guys per se so it's it's like that whole mechanism you know where it's like you know i'm just out here doing this because you guys want it that's it i'm not forcing anything down anyone's throat um and and again you know like i i i, I don't want that to be the same thing i don't want any all right, all right i'm going off topic here back to not giving a fuck you know back to you know um what, what i was just saying earlier you know like a judgment you know back to literally going back to like you know not not uh not caring about the judgment of others at any at any cost at all because i love you guys to death i really do but at the same time as as much as i care about you guys and i care about what you guys have to say to me and what you guys you know i care about you guys a lot at the same time i kind of don't i kind of don't you know what i mean like in the sense of like i care about you guys you know, just like I care about my mom, just like I care about a lot of people, I care. I, I love you guys, but again, if my mom were to fucking say, hey, stop doing YouTube and get a real job, I'd tell my mom, mom, I love you, but go fuck yourself, you know? And um, it's the same thing I will tell you guys, you know what I mean? Like that kind of shit. If you all of a sudden, you know, say, hey, you should do this or do that, I will respectfully say, go fuck yourself, you know what I mean? Because the fuck man you know that kind of shit and so i don't know it's, it's all about that judgment you know because some people as they grow you know they're like oh my god now i gotta protect you know my you know for example like i'm just going by me now but this can pertain to all of you guys out there where as as i'm growing and i have you know more people watching and fans and all that shit you know i can very very easily because it's just the nature of the beast start changing my ways you know how people like eventually like if you're one of my first viewers and you see me change you'll be like oh man you change you're not the same and the thing is it's like yeah a lot of people do that they change you know um their who they are in order to appease all these new um people to appease all this new audience to appease this new anything whatever the fuck it is as opposed to always remaining themselves always being who they are 
never caring about that judgment. Like no matter how, no matter what happens to me, I'm always gonna be me. I've learned a lot. I've been through a lot of shit. You know what I mean? I've, like literally, I've learned a lot. You know what I mean? When it comes to to all of these things that I'm saying, that's why I'm, you know, able to speak so freely on these things without a problem. But you know, that's the thing. You know, that's like the major hurdle there. It's it's that that judgment thing is gonna be following you around forever, your whole fucking life. And so it's imperative for anyone out there to learn. I do not give a fuck. I mean, for reals. You know, there's like a famous, there's like a famous Miami saying, all right? There's like a Miami thing here. It's like, I, like for real, this is a Miami thing. I don't give a fuck, but I give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? And so that's the thing, you know what I mean? Like, I really don't give a fuck, but I give a fuck. I really do. Obviously, if I didn't, I wouldn't be doing these videos. And um, I hope you guys understand exactly what I mean by that. Um, and that's the thing, you know, like that's all I'm trying to get to you guys, you know, they're trying to, I guess, embed in, uh, into, into the psyche of uh, most of you guys out there is for you to not give a fuck, but to really give a fuck, you know, just to give a fuck about what you need to be giving a fuck about. You got to give a fuck about you. You got to give a fuck about your life. You got to give a fuck about what you want to do. You got to give a fuck. There's so many things that you know what they are that you got to be giving a fuck about. But instead, you start giving a fuck about Sally's opinion or fucking Ralph's fucking, you know, two cents or, you know, what your fucking mom thinks or what your... It's like, bro, are, are any of these motherfuckers paying your bills? Are any of these motherfuckers keeping you happy? Are any of these motherfuckers, you know, doing anything positive for your life? 99% of the time is a no. And that's the thing. You know, once, it, once it's all said and done, you know, once it's all said and done and you're on your deathbed, are, are, is any of these opinions gonna really fucking matter? They're not, you know, and it's, these are the things, man. These are like the basic uh, things that, you know, one needs to fucking start figuring out because the sooner you figure it out, you know what I mean? Like, the sooner you literally figure out that, not only is there a lot of patience involved in doing all this stuff, but the judgment aspect of it. And it's to the point of like, I, that you don't care about what other people think anymore. You know, you just want to do you. And again, when I mean I not giving a fuck is the fact that, you know what I mean? Like, um, you know, I'm doing my art. I'm doing my filming. I'm doing whatever. I'm walking around. Um, from my perspective, as I'm doing it, I don't know. I'm in my own little world. From everybody else's perspective, they're probably looking at me like, bro, look at that crazy motherfucker talking to that camera. You know what I'm saying? But if I, if I worry or I even put into my head what the other people around me are thinking all of a sudden it's like it's the normal human reaction of like fuck you know am i you know do i want you know like what am i doing type of shit but if you all of a sudden turn off that noise you know shut everything off know that it's patience know that it's a long game you know and just put your head down and get to work listen man you don't fucking see anybody you don't hear anybody you don't need, like for reals, it's, 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 it's incredible. Because again, it's funny, my girlfriend was literally telling me the other day as we were filming together at the mall, she's like, I, I, can't, I just can't do what you do. I just can't turn the whole world around me off. You know, you have like this, this weird gift to do that. And I'm like, yeah, but it took me a long ass fucking time to do it, you know? And I've seen her in public and she's just like me. It's just that when she's around me, you know, I'm the fucking loud guy. I'm the fucking uh, animal. I'm the fucking, you know, the whole thing. And so it, it's, uh, it's, it's just very, very, very interesting, you know, to see the whole process come, come about. All of it. Man, I think it rained out here. It's fucking hot and humid. But again, that's, you know, that's basically it. Is being able to, you know, to just literally turn off all the noise. And not, uh, not give a fuck, man. Not give, I know, it's, it's always easier said than done, but that's basically the formula, though. Is to just, um, you know, be very patient. You know, that's why you gotta pick something that you love. You gotta do what you love. Okay? Once you, if you're doing what you love, then patience goes out the door. Because, like, let's say if you wanna, no matter what, you, what it is, it could be, you know, being obsessed with Smurfs. It could be um, being a musician. It could be a lot of fucking things out there. Okay? But if you're obsessed, then patience is not a problem anymore because it's, uh, 
you know, you want to be doing this for the rest of your life. So what are you really trying to achieve? You've already achieved it. You follow me now. There's all these other things you can achieve. But at the end of the day, you're still doing what you want. And like, it's not stopping. It's just one of those fucking things. And then the judgment aspect of it again, you know, once you get over the judgment aspect of it, you realize that that judgment you were worried about, that opinion you were worried about from all these individuals means absolutely fucking nothing. And a good majority of these people that are judging you having accomplished, have not accomplished a fucking thing in their life, okay? And they probably never will. In fact, their biggest accomplishment is talking shit about you or making your life miserable or trying to discourage you from your dreams because they can't, you know, do their own thing and so on and so forth. I mean, that's, that's kind of like basically it. So I hope today's uh, Monday motivation was good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I did. I actually enjoyed making today's episode. I enjoy. I love the fuck out of making all these things. Okay, don't get it twisted. But again, the reality is, is the fact that you know, um, I want to make sure that to me, the only thing I care about is that what I'm making is that is of, is of actual value to you guys. What I'm making is um, is actually going to be worth something to someone out there. And you know what the great thing about what I do is, is that let's just say I make a crappy episode tomorrow, today, whatever. Um, I have another chance at it the next day. I have another chance and another chance. And there's always infinite amount of chances. It's literally up to me whether I want to, you know, endure the patience of uh, just redoing the thing over and over and over again. And that's it. So, guys, with that said, I'm going to get the hell out of here because obviously I'm home. I'm just standing outside my house. And um, that's it. I got to cut this so I can start editing. And uh, I got a bunch of things I got to do. So without further ado, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Please follow me on Discord, on Instagram, on all the social medias. Don't forget to, you know, check out the website, check out the store, check everything out. And uh, last but not least, don't forget to stay awesome. All right, guys, love you to death, and I'll see you guys manana. Have a happy, happy rest of your Monday, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your week, and I hope this is uh, the beginning of something beautiful for you guys. All right? And if it isn't, well, there's always next week, or there's always tomorrow, or there's always... Right? All right, guys, love you. See you guys later. Peace. My big thing is that people's fears are predicated on other people. You're allowing other people's opinions to dictate your life. Letting somebody else dictate your life is immediate unhappiness. You're not in control. There is nothing, nothing more difficult than navigating your life based on somebody else's opinion. You actually care about what your dad or mom or grandma or husband or wife or daughter or son is gonna say about you if you do this thing. It doesn't matter what they think. When you're fucking 92 and you're sitting there, you're not gonna give a shit about what punk man 96 had to say or even what your aunt had to say who's miserable because she never got hers so she's trying to keep you down. Negative people latch on to positive people and try to seclude them from the world because that's their energy. In work, I see it every day. In life, I see it every day. It's just what it is. I hate how many people judge other people without having all the context. Every time you fucking judge, you make yourself vulnerable. 99.9% of people that you judge or have opinions on, you have no idea what the fuck is actually happening in their lives. Like, you don't fucking know what's going on in somebody's fucking home. Everybody sucks at something, right? Like, we all have shortcomings. And for me, it's like, why don't we just audit that? Like, why don't we just look at it that way and be like, all right, well, I'm good at this, but I'm not good at that. Like, everybody's so absolute. Are you really, really, really not gonna live your life based on somebody's anonymous fucking icon feedback that you suck? They fucking suck. Go do your thing. Don't listen to anybody but what's in your fucking mind and your fucking heart. And not living a life where you allow other people's judgment to dictate your behavior. You're letting your homie or your aunt or somebody else shit on you. It's going in your head and now you think you're shitting on yourself. You're valuing somebody else's opinion too much. So many of you are gonna be resentful and blame somebody else besides yourself. It's your fault that you're not doing your thing and so the reason I think it's happening is the judgment of others. It's the same shit from fourth and fifth grade that we develop. This is very complicated but unbelievably simple. 
You're worried about what other people think. You give up on that shit and you're clean and you can go and all of a sudden, it's not how much money you have or how much time you have. You just see that you can do it. Money ain't time, ain't shit of holding you back compared to your worry about other people's opinions. Do you know what it's like to be in your own head and nothing else matters? Do you know what it feels like to give a shit so much about what everybody thinks? yet not care at all? Do you know that when I leave here I'm gonna look at every single tweet about this talk and if somebody said, eh, I'm gonna be devastated like I fucking died, yet equally don't give a fuck? When you can get to that place, amazing shit happens. You know why? Because you stop being scared. And I want that for every fucking person because let me tell you something, it fucking is the best. You only have one life and it's much better to live it for yourself than somebody else. 400 trillion to one. That's it, baby. Hey guys, guess what? Me and Lambo are still here. We haven't left yet. You know why we're here? Because I want to tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. It's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago. And um, I'm going to be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs, t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker. And if you guys want any special requests on things for me to put in the store, then please, by all means, let me know and uh, we'll get our graphic artist you know, on top of it. Yeah, that means you gotta work, Lambo. All right, guys, thank you so much. Love you guys and I'll see you guys manana.